So today's sponsor is Jakes of London. Now these are a company that specialise in toys as well as handcrafted wooden board games. Now they have been kind enough to gift myself these two beautiful packages. I believe this one is a chess set. It's a little bit unknown until I actually open them. And then we've got this one, which is a Chinese checkers set. Now I do really enjoy board games. So today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing, a little bit of a preview on how they look as well as how they turn out. And uh, yeah, let's get unboxing. So we're gonna start with our Chinese checkers. It actually turns out that this is actually also Go Bang as well, which is another board game. So it's like two board games in one. And if we focus a little bit on the packaging, we've got this really nice black and gold ribbon on the front. Which says Jake's of London, and obviously established in 1795. It's got a really nice pattern on the front showing off a few of the toys and products that they actually sell all in this really nice cardboard style box and then looking at the actual side of the boxing we've got it talking about the fact that it's suitable for children aged three and above talking about it being an eighth generation family business fun for all the family and handmade with love so that's more about the actual values of the company rather than anything else then, looking at the side, we've got a little bit which talks about the actual game and contents inside. Then we've got it talking about, again, when it was established, which says since 1795. And then on this side, it's just obviously the warnings talking about how it's not suitable for children under 36 months. And if we turn over, there's actually this really nice kind of artwork on the back, which talks about the founders of the company, talking about John Jakes, a little bit about the other people involved, and. I can't really tell from underneath the actual ribbon, but once we get it off, we'll have another little look. But essentially, it's a really nice little bit of artwork on the back, which talks about the uh, company's history. But yeah, so let's get this one open and see what is actually inside. So inside, we actually have this really cool bit of treasure which says congratulations you are a winner follow the instructions on the back to claim your prize i believe it's actually a voucher towards another product which is really nice so thank you jakes for uh, for that which is really really good inside we've also got a little handcrafted note so it's actually been hand written by a i'm guessing a member of staff at jakes And then we've also got the actual parts. So these will be the parts for the Go Bang. We've also got the parts for Chinese checkers. Looking at the actual parts, the way that they've been modeled and molded out of handcrafted wood, especially with the kind of color, looks really nice, good high quality there. And then we've also got this really cool paper, again, talking about the history. about the paper we've got our instructions which talks to you about how to play both games got a very nice piece of cardboard just there we've got a little bit here again about the other game sided instruction manual there a little bag which I'm guessing you can put all the, the, the parts in when you're not actually playing the game and this is the actual game board so just quickly take this out of the box so this is our Chinese checkers board and if we flip it over here is the go bang board again handcrafted with this really nice finish on the side 
and it's made of a really good quality wood. It's even got the name engraved on the actual base here. And yeah, it is a really nice looking product and I cannot wait to give this a go. So next we're gonna go on to the handmade chest set and case. So once again, on the sides you can see there are little bits of instructions and text. It's, it is the same as before, so I'm not gonna read it out again, but uh, essentially it is really nice and written the exact same way. This one is a little bit different and this one does say, And underneath, once again, we have got the founders of the company, which do look really, really nice. So, unboxing this one. Hand wrapped by Sophie. Thank you, Sophie. For that. And this here is our chessboard, which looks absolutely wonderful. The, the, the style and precision on how this has been cut and painted and styled is really, really good. flip it upside down there are our pieces again the the workmanship that's gone into that and everything is mad and obviously when you're not using it you just fold it up and obviously put that to one side again we have got the instruction manual now chess is a little bit more complicated so it is a double page spread and uh, yeah that is the uh, the chess set so let's give these games a go. Just before we get into the game, I also noticed that it does come with a piece extra for every colour, which is nice. So if you are to lose any of the pieces, you've got additional ones here for those. So when it does come to Chinese checkers, this is how you'd have to set the board up. Now you can play it anywhere between two, three, four, or even six players. Now I have filled the board completely as if you want to be playing with six players. And the actual rules are quite, quite straightforward. Now the way I like to look at it is it's very similar to drafts in the way in which you have to do it, where you've got to get from one side of the board to the other, but then it also combines rules similar to Ludo or Frustration, where if you, for example, say there's one piece here and there's an enemy piece here, you could easily just jump over that player to any direction you want to go to, and that player has to go back to the start. So what I'm going to quickly do is do a very quick run through with no commentary on how a game could be played. Now, at this point, this is gonna be quite a good move because the nice thing about Chinese checkers is you can keep bouncing off players to take them all out. So in theory, I could take out all of these players that are on the board by going jump, jump to this point. Oops. Jump, jump to this point, and then jump, jump to this point. And then obviously I can take out these players. Now the only problem is, when you do this, is that now he could take me out and then obviously all these players would go back to the start. And that's a little quick run through of how Chinese checkers works. Now, when it comes to the game of chess, there are a number of different pieces. So you've got the pawns, you've got the rooks, also known as the castles, 
You've got the knights, also referred to as horses. You've got the bishops, also known as bishops. Then you've got the king, which is the main piece itself. And then you've got the fan favourite, which is the queen as well. Also, that is the same for the brown pieces as well. Now, when it comes to setting up the board, it's very important that it is set up correctly. So you always start by having the king and queen on the middle squares. The pawns always go at the front. Obviously, when you are starting up chess, you only ever go the front and back two rows. But you have to make sure that the pieces are in this exact setup, otherwise the game cannot be played correctly. Now, the actual rules for chess are very, very, very complex, so I may not be able to go through them all. And when it actually comes to chess, I'm not the best player. I mean, I know how to play it, but I don't actually... Knights, these can move a little bit differently. They can move anywhere which involves one space forward and then two space to cross in any way, shape or form. So as long as they move that kind of way, then that's completely fine. So for example, it can move anywhere along the board like that. Bishops can only move diagonally. So essentially say this piece was here, these can only move diagonally, a little bit like that. And again, all of these can take out plays depending on their special move position. Queens are very, very special as they can move up, down, left, right, or diagonal. So for example, say this player was here, this could move to here, take this player out, then to here, take this player out, then it could move all the way up to here. And if the player itself has a bishop and they can't move, then that player would get taken out as well. Now, this brings me to checkmate, which essentially is getting the queen or any other piece into a position to take out the king. So this is an example of checkmate because in theory, the king can't move anywhere. The king moves here, the child's got him. If the king moves to here, the bishop's got him. If the king moves to here, the horse has got him. And obviously vice versa with all those positions. And essentially that is how you play chess. So again, it is quite complex. And uh, yeah, it's a great game board. The, the pieces themselves are really nicely made. And yeah, that is chess. And that, guys, brings me to the end of today's review. Once again, big thank you to Jakes of London for supplying me with these two absolutely incredible handcrafted gifts. I will drop a link down in the comments so you can go and check them out as well. They have currently got on a Christmas offer if you do want to purchase any of these amazing gifts. And until then, guys, have a good Christmas, and I bid you all farewell. Bye-bye.